much appreciate it. <coughs> okay, so um, we've now got the lips over the page. Uh, Halls for Hornby Rickerton Community Board, Mike Mora. And we've got, we haven't got Gary here today, we've got Matt. Welcome. Thank you, um, Leanne and councillors. Um, we do have um, Matt as our um, governance person today um, due to illness. Well, um, well, oh, he's not Matt, and thanks for supporting us <laughs> today. And um, on the exchange. Helen's here to, uh, to talk about the, um, or help answer any questions about the, um, the, the bus exchange um, passenger lounge, uh, which is the next item on our, on our agenda. <laughs> so um, we'll take you through the, um, the presentation, our overheads, and um, community board projects, leadership day, culture galore, commu uh, community service awards, and, and some of those community service, well not all of them, some, some of them, all of them, community service awards are really, really exciting things and something that we're very, very pleased um, to, uh, to be able to offer that, um, uh, those thank yous to the volunteers in our community that help make our community such a great place. And also uh, along with the Community Pride Garden Awards as well, so uh, that's another um, really, really good event to have. Anzac Days, of course, Neighbourhood Week and Youth Development Funding. We get a lot of. You'll see as the progress as the as we progress through our <coughs> our report. Um, just flick to the next one if you like, please, Martu. Um, sport uh, youth development function. We had a lovely youth development function, and that's where the young people come and give us feedback on what they've achieved with the funding that they've got from our community board towards their um, their goals um, and their development in life. And it's really, 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 really good when we look at the range of things that these young people have been involved in, some absolutely wonderful things that we're top of the world at is problem solving in our young people. They're away winning international awards for problem solving. Mm and our rowing um, sports people. It's just law mooting, you know, stuff that we haven't heard of before, but just absolutely wonderful to, uh, to actually be able to support these young people um, in the early stages of their journeys through life. And when we look around our community, um, like we do sometimes if you've been around as long as I have, and see how those um, people have actually gone on to, to not only be really, really good at what they do, but put a lot of those skills and, and that that they've gained back into the community. And some of these young people now are coaching young people as well. So that's, um, that's really, really good. And the pride in their faces was just wonderful. This is the old Hallsville Library, which has um, still been no final decision made on it yet, but it's... Um, it's been used as a part of the Hallsville Community Project as a youth teen hangout, and and amongst other things as well. But that is one of the one of the uses that that building's being put to now, and it's just really really ideal um, venue for these sort of activities because the Tiha Pua Centre is very very well utilised. Thank you to the Christchurch City Council, um, our new library service centre at Tiha Pua. But this, um, the old library has certainly been adopted by the community um, and, and I think with the growing community that we've got there we really need to see um, as many new things for young people in that area because we've got skateboard skateboard park there too now in Hallswood without any problem at all. Maybe there was a little bit of a problem, Matt, wasn't there? But um, it, it was nothing unsurmountable. So things are really happening there. And oh, we go now. Yeah, thanks for the introduction, Carol. I know she's gone now, but um, thanks for stealing my thunder. But, You've got uh, pictures, though. Sorry? You've got pictures. We have indeed. Yes. We have indeed. And um, thanks to, um, to Anne and um, Phil and other council oars that were there. 
Yanni, I would have really liked to have seen you there. But anyway, you were there in spirit, buddy. You were there in spirit. And it was really, really good to see the um, the past Christchurch City Council and, the, and their um, past Deputy Mayor um, and his family. Norm Withers and I were in the same class at school together, by the way. So we go back a long way. But to think that his family, the Withers family, with 11 children living in that house, absolutely amazing. So it's really, really good, not only for the Withers family and for the, and for the other people, quarry workers that, um, that um, operated in there. It's got the most amazing bath you've ever seen. I don't know how the devil you would ever get it hot, but it's a solid concrete bath. And the sides of it are about um, yeah, over a foot thick. So once you got that hot, it'd stay hot for a long time, but actually trying to put hot water into a solid concrete bath and, and expect to go, oh, this is lovely, but as soon as you sit down, you go, oh, my goodness <laughs> me. But anyway, um, it's just really, really interesting to, to take yourself back in time <laughs> to what it was like in those days. So uh, we're really, really appreciative of the Heritage team and everybody that was involved in that process. And it's such a lovely feeling, the rangers and everybody that work around that place, including the pet rabbit, that lives up in the um, in the crusher plant that's been adopted. It's got its own little kennel and it comes here and gets fed every day and it just runs free, but it's been adopted by the rangers. It's a wonderful place to be. So um, we're very, very proud of that. And the Hornby um, event community collaboration. So that's that's um, something that's going to be happening. It's, it, it's, it's in the planning process now. So we're going to bring a lot more of the Hornby community um, together in an, in an event in, um, in March 2018. So that's something that we're working on. Heritage Week events, of course, we've got um, the Rickett and House and Bush tours, and we've also got the Cemetery tours in Hallswell and, and Church Corner. And we've also got the um, the Air Force, you know, from the plains to the peninsula and Port Hills. There's a lot of heritage, a lot of heritage in our um, Hallsville, Hornby, Rickerton community board area. And um, it's something that we re we're really, really pleased to be involved in, and, and not only in our ward, but right across the city. I think heritage is something that doesn't actually belong to um, a local authority, or even some of the historic buildings belong. They belong to families, etc. But heritage is something that belongs to everybody in the country, everybody in the country. And I think we should get more central government funding, actually, towards the restoration and the upkeep and maintenance of heritage buildings <coughs> and relying on um, local authorities. So that's my little plug. Walking festivals. I just got an email this morning to say that unfortunately the Pakeko stomp has been cancelled or postponed due to um, inclement weather. But um, so the stomp won't be happening in Hallswell at this point in time. But it'll be still lovely to walk around the um, the other um, um, walking events in the city over the, over the next week or two or three and the upcoming community events. We've got the, um, the South West Light Party. We've got the Templeton Community Day. That's an awesome day for anybody that want to go out to, out to Templeton and see that this, this is something that the community certainly took on board and, um, and it's grown from year to year to year. And it's a really, really love, lovely day. We've got a, a Sockburn um, Community day in Sockburn Park. This is this is its second second year. Uh, so that's coming up. Quite a lot of these <coughs> events are actually quite close together time wise. But the Rickett and Street Party, that's that's a great one too in um, in Elizabeth Street. And we've just got them um, in um, community um, fun days in Harrington Park. So it's just and that's happening all over the city. So we're just really, really proud to um, to be able to support those those events and actually go to them and have a bit of fun ourselves. 
and the team, the community Rickett and Neighbourhood Policing Team, that I was just so pleased and proud to get the news that um, that um, our team, Steve Jones and uh, and his team of very very fine um, officers, along with the community, have helped the community have helped um, this policing team get this um, this national recognition. And um, it's just so pleased that it was a, it was a, a trial in Horn and um, in Rickerton. It was the, the first cab off the rank, and it really, really worked. And since they've gone, that community have just got so much strength and pride, and um, and it's just turned that whole community around. And the same thing, of course, is happening now um, in um, the the Aranui Richmond area. So. But it was really, really good to see that that got a a, a, a national um, recognition from the from the New Zealand Police. Hyper helpful random facts, well, speak for themselves. Um, it's just a just a wide ranging, um, and this is something that I think all all wards would be really, really good to see. What um, drag out some of your um, for helpful ham helpful. Um, hyper helpful random facts. Um, ours is because we're the halls will home be record and board, but you know that's um, it's quite good to get some of those facts here so we know what our community's like. Martu? Yep. Was that that's us? It. Yep. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything else um, that in my notes here that um, no, I think we've covered all that. You might as well flick into the next item as well. It does. Um, we do need to um, to flick then to unless there's any questions of our. Um, yeah, but we'll come. Well, I mean, we can deal with the whole lot together because okay. it, it is a natural flow. Yep. So, do you want to go now to the um, Rickett and Division Street Working Party report? Well, if you d just speak to that briefly as well, and then we'll deal deal with the whole lot together. Okay. Yeah. So we have um, we have had some um, some. Well, it hasn't, been, it hasn't been a lot of fun, um, actually, but it's been serious stuff, and I think the the, um, the working party have worked really, really well under the guidance and leadership of um, of Jenny Huey, who um, keeps everybody on their toes. Really pleased you. What's she gone? Step down. Okay. 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 Um, <coughs> but anyway, we worked through a range of options and things and re recommendations, and um, <coughs> and that's. The working party's recommendations, the working party's recommendations, and as you'll see um, um, at the at the end of that, when we get to that matter, um, there's some other recommendations in Part A that we'll discuss later. But it is, um, I've been there, um, seen what's been happening. I've talked to the security guards. I've talked to you know people in the area, shopkeepers and the owners, all of that sort of stuff, as well as being part of this working party. And I think it's been a, a um, it had to happen, and I think the outcome um, or outcomes will um, will certainly help the situation around the area of Rickerton, and it might be a model for um, any other parts of the city where these um, sort of gatherings and, and anti-social behaviour start happening. Very good. All right. So, um, any questions along uh, these? Um, oh, you're uh, happy to. Into eight and ten, I have one question, one comment. Yes, yes. Yes. Please. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The on page fifty-six. <coughs> the <coughs> eight point one. The Hongbi community event. Yes. Except the uh, <coughs> the community you know get involved uh, this uh, kind of uh, uh, plan for the next year in March 2018 whether have any the local community board get involved this one oh there will be absolutely it's just a work in progress to say that this is where we where, where we're intending to go Jimmy pre-earthquake we used to have the west side party in the park yeah no yeah. Um, which used to come along at um, at just before Christmas time. And I used to get to sing Christmas carols, but anyway, that was that was a while ago. But that was something that was really, really great event and well supported by the people in Hornby. But then, and on Denton Park, I might add, 
And anyway, that was, um, but then, you know, things happened, times have changed, so we just want to get back to a, um, a Hornby event as well, Jimmy, because we do have um, events in Rickerton, and as you know, halls will, but we really need to get back to uh, to Hornby and start planning for uh, significant events in our Hornby ward as well. Okay, thank you. Uh, <coughs> the 8.4 bullying, uh, point one, I would like to the comment, because I attended this uh, uh, the work in the festival. That's where we were with the success. <coughs> because we have a kind of a walking through the, uh, from the uh, upper Richton library and uh, around the, the, those the, uh, Richton the high school. They have uh, more than uh, 200 people turn up for the multicultural group. Mm -hmm. That's very, very uh, successful. And uh, so I uh, would like to encourage you know, all our elected members can get involved, all kind of the work in the uh, festival, especially in the city-wide, I was told, mm -hmm. probably um, around the 30 different ones. Yeah. With the surrounding district council, <coughs> have 51, yes. Okay, Is so it okay if Helen makes a comment? Um, for sure. Yes, thank you. And just on the Rickerton bus exchange. Oh, um, we're going to be talking about that later. Oh, later, are we? Okay. No, it's just on, on the bus exchange? Or are you wanting it, wanting it now? No, no. no. I, I'm, I'm just, because you've moved that the, yeah, report, yeah, the report be received. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And I presume right. Anne, you'll second that. So is there any more discussion on the report? I'd I'll like to just um, um, mention, in terms of the recommendations, and I guess we will talk about this later, um, a couple of things um, for, um, I noticed that there's no recommendation around perhaps investigating a youth space. In, oh, sorry, in are we? No, we, we move, we're no, move on I'm to I'm just that. dealing we're with the report. Okay, right. Cool. So, right, yeah. that's fine. Um, I mean, I did want Mike to speak first okay. and cover everything off, but oh. that's not applying to the So we're still in the area report. So I'm mm. just going to put the report, no. so I'll put that motion. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. And now we'll move to the um, Hallsville Hornby Rickerton Community Board Division Street Rickerton Working Party Report with a Part A decision. And um, there's a, a, a recommendation that, that um, a number of us have kind of re revisited the, the wording of this, but they've been put in the opposite order. So, um, but, but that's neither here nor there. They, they cover the two issues. So instead of talking about lobbying central government and having the mayor meet with the New Zealand Police District commander with with an outcome in mind, I, I, I've turned it round the other way. So request that the mayor meet with the New Zealand Police um, Commander Regional <coughs> District, is it? Yeah, mm -hmm. to discuss policing presence in the vicinity of Rickerton Bus Lounge during peak time. So that's one issue. The second is this request staff to work with central government to seek a review of the provisions of the Local Government Act relating to the consequences of breaching of local bylaws, which picks up the, the, the generic issue without, again, being specific around arrest and instant fines. Mm -hmm. I did have that run past me, um, Leanne, um, prior to um, to the meeting um, from um, by Mr Walfries, and I was, I was very comfortable with that. Right, that, well, that's good. Okay, so... Um, so, but Anne, would you like to um, raise this question? It's oh. probably a question Can for Can I make staff. a comment on this? Sorry? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yes, look, I, I just wanted to add, I mean, this is just around the corner from me, so it's an area I know really well. Um, <coughs> since the bus exchange came in, there's always been problems there. And, and people have gone down in the first two years, they, they've gone down the path of social work and engagement with youth. Now, it hasn't sorted the problem. I don't think it, it was ever going to sort it. So the working party was formed. And just the police are, are really concerned that there's a hardened group of young youth there. And, my, and the concern that I have too, that school students are, um, are sort of talking with them as they go through the bus exchange. So it's important we take some of, of these, these measures. In terms of the social work component, that can still still continue. Youth work, as you're referring to. Or youth, well, social work dash, dash youth work. But it has attracted an extremely hardcore youth. 
according to the police, and there's lots of dealings going on there. So it's, um, it's putting our a average young person at risk. Um, I'm actually quite supportive of what's there, um, and I do want to say that I've rung two, the police were beside themselves at one point. Um, it, in the cold, it has gone away. So the cold weather has, has mitigated the problem. So um, I'm comfortable with those two resolutions. You might want to put in, if required, the mayor meets with. I think that's coming. It's coming. Because if, if, it, if it continues as it is, we haven't got the problem we had five months ago. No, I don't want to wish cold weather on the city. So um, <laughs> yes. request that the mayor meet with the New Zealand Police District Commander to Time. discuss policing presence in the vicinity of Brickerton bus lounge during peak times. So um, I, I, I want to discuss the policing presence. I don't want to go and ask for additional police presence when I haven't had the conversation. Okay. You see yes. what I mean? It's not going to the answer, it's going to the conversation. And I, you know, it's kind of a problem-solving approach, and it's a joint yes. approach. It's not, it's not just but, yeah. Yes. So, th so that was why, um, and and particularly when it's me that's being asked to do something, I, I'm just trying to influence yes. how that is presented. I thought you had offered though, Lee. The, the the second, <coughs> sorry. I thought you had offered that um, to the working party that you would do that. I haven't met with the working party. No. 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 When did I meet with him? I don't think so. I can recall you saying that you would um, be prepared to meet with um, the district commander. Yes, I said that before this meeting. Yeah. Today. No, 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 historically. But anyway, yep, that's fine. Anyway, so um, re requesting staff to work with central government to um, seek a review of the provisions of the local government act relating to the consequences of breaching of local bylaws. That's why I kind of had a better understanding of what what approaches we've adopted in the past around this, because um, the original resolution talks about arrests, and yep. I know that the cost of that and the benefit, the cost-benefit analysis on a regulatory yep. impact approach just does not stack up. It doesn't stack up for drunkenness, and it doesn't stack up for this. Getting um, kids onto the pathway of um, arrest um, has all sorts of other life consequences that I think we have to try and avoid. Instant fines uh, can be effective, but not if you've got no money. So, and a lot of these kids don't have resources and they don't have parents with deep pockets either. So, you know, th there are a number of issues that need to be resolved there. Um, I don't pretend for a minute that I know what the um, answers are, but I'm really happy to work alongside, um, you know, the uh, working group and, um, and the police to try and find uh, solutions. But I, I think Anne had an issue which is around could we be thinking about more um, youth spaces that weren't, you know, to encourage young people that are causing problems here to gather elsewhere. Um, transferring the problem wouldn't be a good outcome. Um, but providing people with something <coughs> useful and um, interesting to do might be, but this may be a hardened group of people, as mm. we're hearing, that, that may not be appropriately served in that way as well. So I, I'm really happy that, um, that the local councillors come to the meeting as well um, with the police, and uh, yeah. might, you might like to come as well Absolutely. as the chair of the board. Mm. Yep, um, Anne. Uh, just another... Um Concern that I have is, is is the recommendation for the about Wi-Fi. Um, if we um, consider the youth um, action strategy plan that the the youth council um, came up with, they're actually requesting more Wi-Fi in um, bus shelters and places like that. So I feel a little bit uncomfortable with the punitive um, kind of feeling in this report. So I would like it to, you know, for that to be considered. That um, I don't know if we should punish those kids and those young people who are actually there doing the right thing. Um, I think we should um, perhaps look a bit more creatively and I would suggest that you actually encourage the Youth Council to come in, into these discussions and well, you know sort of bring their perspective as well. Well unfortunately um, I'm just presenting this to the, to the Council. Yeah. Um, oh, it's, it's not, it, this is this is the work of the working party we're talking yeah, about. And they've asked for information on and, that, so that it, it's not correct. in front of us today. Mm, no. Um, 
but look, I, I think having that initial meeting with the police will help steer us in the right direction. Mm. Yep. Um, oh, Glenn and then um, Aaron. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to ask you a question. I do support a developmental approach, though, Mike. Anyway, just with as far as um, exploring uh, bylaw options, mm -hmm. did the working party look into um, the the public places bylaw uh, options? So we, we looked yes. at that with some issues we had um, in Linwood, and uh, the police sought to be you know further empowered through that. So did you look at that and see what we did indeed? And and um, the first in the early stages of the working party, that was something that was you know a tool that the, the police had came to us and said, this we want this tool in our toolbox. But when they went into the into the nitty gritty of it, they decided the police actually backed off a little bit and thought, well, you know, um, there may be a better way. There may be a better way, and they didn't. They weren't pushing so much for an anti loitering bylaw, but some other tools. And I think if we go by the recommendation that we've got up there now, the amended recommendation that's just been put up today. The, the staff work with central government to seek a review of the provisions of the Local Government Act relating to their uh, breaching of local bylaws, I think that will be a help. I really do. So um, there has been a switch, and Jenny, I don't know, is Jenny here? No. Um, she would be in a better position as the chair of that to, to actually explain the process, but that was certainly the case. Um, yes. Callum is on that yeah. working party as well, and uh, they certainly wanted that um, <laughs> anti-loitering bylaw, but then went, went a bit co colder on it. Yeah, look, it was uh, our council oh, staff. Look, I'm really worried that we're going well over time okay, for the sorry. presentation. Yeah, We've yeah. got the Auditor General yeah. waiting, um, well, the Office of the Auditor General waiting. Okay. Um, and, um, <laughs> and, and we've got lots of people now who are on the a speaking oh, order. It's not you is next. Right, so the next one then, I mean, if we're going to continue down this track, we are not going, we are only dealing with a re uh, request that I meet with the police and that we um, uh, lobby sent well work with central government around um, the provisions of the local government act relating to the consequences of breaching local bylaws that's all we're discussing today the rest of the working group is progressing and they will come back to us so Aaron yeah then um, Phil and then Jimmy and then Jamie I mean this is you know well done good this um does all feel a little back to front uh, and we were pre-warned that this would happen. Um, I believe it was the Youth Council that had completely different designs and options for how these and other um, bus stations should be done and they're not even in the working party list. In fact, I don't even know if anyone there even catches a bus. And so I'm just wondering, are we going about this the right way because it feels really back to front that we're talking to completely the wrong demographic about solving a problem that and and they presented to um, the community board I used to be on at Shirley Papa Nui around um, their ideas for designs and, and things like that so they'd raised it then when this was first going through that they knew there'd be trouble because we just we've got the wrong people designing stuff and um, and as far as a youth space goes the most popular youth space in the city's next door the mall, um, Westfield Mall is the most popular youth space in the city and it's um, so uh, we've, we, I think we've got this wrong and so that's my question that I don't even think we should be going down this road, it's cost us a fortune, we should go back to the drawing board and talk to the actual users and the youth council and say Shh, is this way we should go and start there. As I say, we're only dealing with this um, request around consequences of prior laws and me meeting with the local police. So that, that's all we're discussing today. So in terms of that wider issue, I don't actually disagree with you that in terms of um, um, crime prevention through environmental design, you've got to engage the users right at the start. But what we're hearing from the community board is that there is a small um, group of people that are disruptive and that they are influencing others who are quite legitimately using the bus lounge. So it's, it's not a major interchange, it is a bus lounge and it, is a, um, it has got issues that we need to resolve. So I'd like to meet with the police and I'll certainly undertake to do that in a relatively short space of time, hopefully be able to um, do that early in November. 
So would you consider meeting with the youth council really, around this as well? Yep. Look, it's not for me to meet with them yet. You know, uh, it's it's really for the. I mean, somebody else has said that the youth council should be involved. I agree with that, but uh, you know, that's not what's in front of us today. Phil and then um, Jimmy and then Jamie and then Yani. I give up. Hey. Okay. Mine was a wider question. It can wait. Sorry. My question was wider than than the recommendation, so I'm fine to. Keep Jamie. It. I guess my question is, um, what local bylaws are being breached? This, no, we. Uh, oh. Uh, no, I don't agree. Would go with the bylaw. That's just a possibility. But <clears throat> the police will if, will will um, do something if they offend in a criminal All way. Right, let me rephrase that. With respect to yeah, recommendation right. one, uh, relating to the consequences of breaching local bylaws, what local bylaws are being breached? It's I'm talking about, um, in fact, when, when that rewording came up, um, I was really pleased about it because it, there's a lot of other bylaws around that we need to have that course of action, but and spe specifically because we haven't got an anti-loitering bylaw um, if there was an anti-loitering so so bylaw, we, we haven't. So because it's not got consequences with it, Jamie. So this is about focusing on what are the consequences of breaching a bylaw. We're not going to create a bylaw that has no consequences. So if we're looking at the consequences of a bylaw breach. I'd like to move so on. So request that staff. A lot of bylaws do not have the No. Correct. Correct, and Correct. we did, but we did Metal that. Fixing. We did that specifically for the car washing, um, for the window washing problem that we had on uh, Linwood Ave, and the problem disappeared. This just feels all round, all back to front. Yes, that's fine. Mm. Thank you for sharing, um, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, and then um, yeah, is it Yanni? Is that he the last one left? Okay, it, Mayor, I would like to follow the end the question, but there's a part of C regarding Wi-Fi. May I, or just uh, no. focus on this? Only one? focus on these. Oh, yeah. These are the because only recommendations. This one, why I ask, uh, you know, community board? Because if you view back to the page on uh, 59, but actually, community board meeting in September, we have minor uh, the amendment of the wording. It's not the exact same. That is the two point the two point B and uh, this paragraph, reviewing the free Wi-Fi rather than no, removing... Jimmy, Jimmy, we're not talking about the Wi-Fi. What we're talking about is the is the report of the of the working party and the recommendation from the part A, yeah. which is those two those Yeah, two yeah I understand, but your word you need to amendment. No, you mentioned not, the it's not like wording, original Jimmy. style recommendation accepted okay. with all the changes. Actually, community board has been changed. This might yeah. Oh, it seems yeah. It says reviewing. So, um, uh, Yanni. Um, so, I was just trying to understand in terms of the police. There's a community console I understand in Nelson Street. Is that? Is there a community police base in Rickerton? And no. Has, no. No. Right. So has that been removed or something? <coughs> yes. that's, that's been gone for quite some time. Right. Okay. And, and the police now. say that the local police say they do not have h enough mm -hmm. resourcing. They think if we had further resourcing, it would fix the problem, okay. um, but they haven't got any power to speak to, the, so should we to be, the commander. I think both the political parties have said they're going to increase the number of police, so I just wonder whether we should um, write a letter to central government or to the minister. Or well, Ian's meeting with the local commander. Well, well yeah, but that's different than, than yes. the allocation of but resource. Can I, can I meet with him and report back to you first? Yes. Okay, I think that'd be really good. And just the second question I had is, um, and I'll probably get told that it's, you know, but when I read through the thing... If, I, if it is... Well, <laughs> well, I just want to make sure there's a process, because we're being asked to make recommendations, but what I can't see from the port is anyone talking to the people that are causing the problem. So has anyone talked to the people that are causing the problem to understand what's behind the behaviour? It would only be the police. No, the and station. the youth workers. Any? And the youth workers. The youth workers have been dealing with these young people on a one-to-one -one basis for quite a long time. But they've continued to actually conduct their activity. Okay. Um, even even um, with police presence mm. around, it does distract from it. 
But when the police presence goes away, um, the activity starts again. I've been down there and witnessed it, and I've talked to the security guards and others in the area that, that, um, that are, are telling so, me what's going on. So just oh, thank you, on from but that. look, seriously, just we are well over time. Um, I'm going to have to mean, uh, we're going to have to go straight to the um, annual report now, and it's not fair on other community boards who've been waiting um, to come to the table. I was going to bring um, Papua New Guinea to the table so that they could come and go, but uh, you know I'm 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 finding it very difficult when we're having, uh, you know, here uh, using the council's time to deal with a matter that's not in front of us at the moment. Just then, I'd really like to get a briefing from council staff over the whole bus interchange um, strategy and just, I mean, there's a number of issues related to this one in particular, <coughs> and it would be really good to actually have a chance to hear from staff who are involved with the operation of it, because there's a number of questions that I have, but yeah, obviously appreciate we're limited for time. Yeah, and, and no, because that is not um, an order in terms of this resolution today. I, I've said that this resolution, if it carries, I will meet with the New Zealand Police, police Good, District cool. Commander. I'll discuss the policing issues that are involved in this area, and I will report back to Council before we take this any further. So I'm not going to waste staff time. Let's do that. To move that? Yeah. Hmm? I said Jimmy's happy, we're all happy. I think two makes a lot of sense. I don't want to vote. The whole thing, like I said, just feels really undercooked to me. Two makes perfect sense, but one is trying to the solve the problem. The working group that has asked done. for further information, if you read the report, it says that they've the asked report. for lots of other information. They will have that information before they come up with recommendations. I'm happy for you to speak with police. That makes sense. But the rest just, yeah, it's just all in the yeah. area. That's moved by Jimmy Chen, seconded by... No way. Andrew, I'll put that motion. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. Okay. So, um, <coughs> and uh, are you against all of it? Yeah. yeah. So Aaron and Dion against the lot, and J Jamie Goff against one. Right. Thank you.